Hello everyone, it's Tan here and welcome back to Business English. This week, let's go through the word business. Well, I'll waste you no time. Let's get started. Business, two syllables. When used as an uncountable noun is the activity of making, purchasing, selling, or supplying goods or services for money. However, when you use it as a count now, it does mean a company, a firm, an enterprise, or much more formally, a concern that sells goods or services. We also use big business to refer to large companies that have a lot of power and are considered as a group. Well, I'm going to give you an example of big business and why they consider that way. You know which company I'm talking about, right? Yes, you're right. It's Apple. The company changed completely the music business model by inventing the iPod and iTunes. It is an undeniable fact that they also changed the way how cell phones should be designed and used. Moreover, they let third-party providers design and deliver apps via App Store. In short, they create desire, not product. Businesses vary in size, from the self-employed person working alone, through the small to medium enterprise, uh, you know, in short, we say SME, to the large multinational with activities in several countries. Did you know that in the US, a large company is called a corporation? Some of the corporations are so powerful and successful that they are also called mega corporation. The adjective corporate indicating things related to corporation is often used in the following combinations. We say corporate culture, corporate ladder, corporate headquarters, corporate logo, corporate image or identity, corporate profits. All right, now let me tell you briefly what the meaning of those words are. Corporate culture refers to the shared values, attitudes, standards, and beliefs that characterize members of an organization and define its nature. Corporate culture is rooted in an organization's goals, strategies, structure, and approaches to labor, customers, investors, and the greater community. A ladder is a device with steps used to climb up and down. So, the corporate ladder is the series of steps people go through as they gain more power in a corporation and rise to the top. You know, from the file clerk up to the president. A corporate headquarters is the place where a company's executive management and key managerial and support staff are located. A corporate headquarters is considered business most prestigious location and may also lend prestige to its host city and help attract other businesses to the area. A corporate logo is a powerful corporate identity tool and as the symbol by which public recognizes a firm is in some cases more valuable than the physical assets of the firm. A corporate identity or corporate image is the manner which a corporation firm or business presents themselves to the public such as customers and investors as well as employees. 
corporate profits, also called net income, is the amount remaining after all costs, depreciation, interest, taxes, and other expenses have been deducted from the total sales. Profit is also referred to as a bottom line, net profit or net earnings. Okay, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Goodbye.